in this section, we are going to talk about recurring neural networks. Recurring neural networks are usually used to process some sequential information. Text is a great example. As we all know, in text, we have some sequential information, such as words. And as humans, it is an easy task to understand the meaning. But for machines, this still remains to be a difficult task. Let's see an example here. Assume we have a language translation task. A machine learning model takes as input as the text, and it needs to produce a different text in a different language. And it not only needs to produce the right words, but it also needs to put them into the right places. And this is a difficult task. What are some other types of sequential data? For example, time series data, audio, and video frames. Let's talk about RNNs. RNNs use some kind of internal state to preserve the sequential information. Here's a nice structure. We have the input, hidden state, and the output layer. In this very specific example, we are looking at three inputs. So these are three adjacent time steps. You can also consider those as three subsequent words in a sentence. Let's see how an RNN works. An RNN unit takes the input and the previous hidden state and it applies an activation function on this. After the activation function, we produce a hidden state. Then we can use this hidden state and we can produce an output from this. The important thing is that this updated hidden state is going to go to the next unit. And the next unit takes this hidden unit and again takes the input and applies the same processes. Let's see more details. In addition to these layers, we also have some weight matrices. So when we are using the input and the previous time steps hidden state, we also use these weight matrices. And you will also see some bias terms here. We also use them. And as you see in the equation, when we are calculating the hidden update state, we use an activation function. Similarly, we can get the output using the hidden state update and another bias. So we have seen how a simple recurring neural network works. We can also create some different versions. For example, we can increase the depth of our neural network by stacking different RNNs.